everybody Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you. And guess what I'm doing today? See that there? I am water glossing my eggs. I've also made a huge mess. So far, I've got about 24, 25 eggs in there. And I put them in there this morning. And I'm hoping that I'm going to have six more so I can maybe fill up the rest of this jar. Uh, so far, I have put six cups in there. And basically what I'm doing is I'm putting the eggs in first. And I'm mixing up the lime solution, the brine, in four cups of water and then adding it to this. It is one ounce per quart of water. So I'm mixing the solution up by quarts, basically. Um, so you put one ounce, and I weighed it on my new scale. Look at how messy. And whisking it up in here. See, it's already settled. There's another couple cups in there that I need to add after I add the other eggs. So I'm going to go collect some more eggs and put them in there and, well, just kind of test this out. See how long they last. Yep, I got six more beautiful eggs. I need to maybe kind of brush them off a little bit. There might be a little bit of schmung on them. But after I do that, I'm just going to put them on over in here. All right, they're clean enough. So here we go. We've got 25, 26, 27. I am trying to put them with the pointy side down. That doesn't always work, you know. 28. 29. <laughs> it's a big one. Oh my gosh. It's huge. 30. 31. You know what? I think I can get more eggs in here, so I might add some more tomorrow. I wish I'd had the newest ones on the bottom, but didn't do it, so. All right, let me just put this over here. Give this a little stir. Look at this mess. I need to clean it up. There we go. I'm just gonna cover the top of these. And I'm thinking, once I get the other eggs in there, it'll come to right, just about right here. I don't know if I'll be able to get a full other six of them in there. Yep. But that's what it looks like. I'm just going to put this lid on and see how they do. I can't wait. I'm going to put it over in my pantry with the red uh, buffalo check on them. This solution will settle. That's okay. And now I've got to clean up my mess. Look at that. Another delivery of the Grubterra Black Soldier Fly Larva subscription. That was set up for me by the lovely Miss Donna B. My chickens absolutely love, love, love these things. Also delivered is this. There's something in there. I ordered it. And I'll show you what's in there later. And I'm going to do some more planting. What's on today's schedule for planting? Well, let's see here. These uh, are this Waltham butternut squash from Liberty Seed Vault. These over here are eggplant. These over here are tarragon. I'm finally getting started on the herbs. That's all tarragon. This next one is lemon balm. I'm gonna try lemon balm this year again. Uh, over here, and these. Remember these little pods that uh, Donna gave to me, Donna B, and she put a little hole in the bottom so they can drain. So in here, there's arugula. Over here is dill. I didn't do so hot on the dill last year, so hopefully it'll, it'll be better this year. Uh, let's see, what is this? Italian basil. And then last but not least, cilantro. Yeah, my cilantro didn't do so great either. So I'm just going to find a place in the greenhouse over there and cover them all up. They've already been watered. Yep, it all fits. And you know what? I've got room to spare. I think what I can do is put up some more hoops and just make it bigger once I get more seeds started. But for now, it is working really, really great. How you doing, Papa? You getting your spunk back? Hmm? You getting your spunk back, big boy? You're a good boy. You're such a good boy. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, when I took the top off of it today, 
it was really, really hot inside of there. And that was really great. So I think eventually I'm just going to take those little coverings that are directly on top of each little thing. Um, take them off because I don't think I'm going to need it here in a few days because it's not going to be well we're going to get down to freezing a few more days um, over the next week or so so but for right now this is doing great I'm amazed at how much heat is generated by just a piece of plastic what are the chickens up to yep they all rush to greet me yet again look at Coco you're so pretty and you're big. I think she's my biggest chicken. That one, Miss Briss. I don't know if you can see the kind of blue-green hue on the back of her, but she is just wonderful. What is going on over there? Roxy? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Romeo is so fierce. Alright, so the chickens have been in the yard all day. One of them, probably Patsy, gets over here. And she flies up there, tries to get out. I don't know if I'm going to let them free range, at least not for a while. Uh, what was in that box, remember, that was on the porch is 100 feet of deer netting. And the deer netting is very fragile. It's very lightweight. I think I can implement it over the top of this and put some of it over there. But I need to cut some bamboo, so maybe that'll be on the list for tomorrow. You look like happy chickens. They are laying me so many eggs. I just can't believe it. Somebody's dirty. Yep, I need to put some more bedding in there. It, very soon, um, when the weather starts increasing, I will clean out the inside of that van and take all of the litter and put it in a compost heap. Because I don't think it's going to be ready for the garden yet. And replace it with new. And just start fresh. Yep. I haven't taken that thing out yet. I don't know. They just, they're really loving it. They are loving getting in there and just flapping around. Look at my pretty chickens. What's the matter, Papa? You see Mr. Lucas across the street, don't you? You won't go say hello. Don't you? He has not pooped in two and a half days. <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure that out. All right, chickens. Yep, I put the sink back outside. I've just left this thing on it. Why not? I mean, what the heck. It's going to get beat to heck, but that's all right. It'll capture rainwater, and I'll be able to do, you know, large loads of dishes in laundry out here. And I think it's going to work out just fine. I'm just sitting out on my porch having a nice glass of wine now. Watching my chickens, watching Papa. Yeah, he doesn't like being confined on that lead, but it's got to be. It's got to be that way because he would be running all the way across the street to Mr. Lucas. In fact, I think I see Mr. Lucas sitting out there right now. I should so go say hello. And uh, whenever Mr. Lucas is out there, Papa wants to go see him. So, well, anyhow, you know what? I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.